simple concept. Pokemon's RPG element with Super Smash Bros. combat. Last week I showed you the prototype I had made with GameX Studio. I decided it would be best to go back to Unity to try to turn this from a prototype into a full game. Welcome to the second episode of Development Vlogs for Hyper Smash. This week I had to rework everything I had done. We are going back to zero and starting all over again. I believe that by using Unity, I'm going to make the game more true to the vision in my head. And while we started off with some rough patches... No! That's not what I wanted to happen at <sighs> What's it doing? I eventually worked them out, and now we have a solid foundation. <laughs> Just run the montage. I've set up uh, this new office. My uh, cat keeps stealing my computer mouse. Um, not once has it been next to my computer. Normally it's on the floor here, but this time I had to find it over here. No. It's not, it's not mouse, it's computer mouse. Okay, I think it'll be easier if I just go through a quick rundown of how the game works and what I've managed to get done so far. Uh, so what you're seeing right now is the player's living room. I was going to make it sort of three-quarter view like Pokemon, but after playing around with the movement like that, I, it, it just seemed to fit the game more having it all being in platformer. Uh, as you can see, we can move left and right. We got our little pop-up. We can't talk to them just yet because I haven't made the text engine. And we can't go in between rooms because I haven't allowed that yet either. But you can see what it, the general gist is sort of going to look like. Um, obviously, i got to colour all of this sort of crap in the background. But that's sort of the the art style that I'm, I'm going for with this project. Okay, so now we got the player room. Uh, we're gonna be you're gonna be able to select whether you want to be a boy or a girl once it comes time for a demo I uh, just got to draw up a Girl character. Yeah, you can see the world behind which I think was a pretty cool little touch It's basically just a hole in the wall. I mean, that's essentially what a window is I guess but yeah So yeah, so far we have our AI following the player attacking the player the AI has every ability that the player currently does um, they run off pretty much identical scripts so and animation um, controllers so that's a lot easier than the way I was doing it for a game maker if I had to if I coded something for the player then I'd have to go through and do everything again for um, the AI the way I've set it up this time is so that I could drop like change it all and pretty much it'll be identical for both of them the whole way which has made it a lot quicker to do. So, if you're not already aware, I work on this game on weekends, on live on Twitch. Uh, I'm always open for suggestions and ideas. I absolutely love hearing about ways that I can improve the game and make it better. I'm hoping for a demo release after this weekend. It'll be a, it'll be a PC demo with the full game targeted for Android 
Uh, the reason why we go on PC is just because it's easier for me to be able to send out and get everyone to test it. So if you'd like to follow along live over the weekend, please follow me on Twitch. I am HyperBlueTTV on there. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, thank you again for watching another episode of my devlogs.